Hello and good evening from BBC London News. An inquest hearing into the death of Mark Duggan, who was shot dead by police in Tottenham, has been told a gun found at the scene had no traces of his fingerprints, DNA or blood on it. It was his death that sparked the rioting in August, which then spread to other parts of London. Our special correspondent, Kurt Barling, reports. Today's proceedings confirmed that the relationship between the IPCC and Mark Duggan's family is strained. The court heard how the flow of information between the two has done little to increase confidence in the independent investigation. Three questions my sister wants to know. Why Mark was being followed by so many police officers? Why he was shot twice? And why the cab was, received, was removed from the scene and then returned? We still haven't got any answers to any of those questions. The local member of parliament has written to the Home Secretary outlining his concerns. This morning he was in court to hear there was a complete breakdown in the family's confidence. This afternoon he raised his concerns in the House of Commons. Given the catastrophe that was this morning's pre-hearing inquest and the family declaring no public confidence in the IPCC, will she now look at their handling and the thoroughness of this investigation. The government says it will not intervene. The court was told that the gun found at the scene had none of Mark Duggan's fingerprints, DNA or blood on it. It was also alleged that the crime scene was not secured and suggested that police witnesses saw a police officer toss a gun in a sock over a fence, later found 14 feet from the scene. The family's central concern is evidence is being compromised. These questions are being officially asked in court now, so not only do the family see how this uh, case is being impaired, now you guys are getting to see how. The IPCC are going to have to work very hard to restore the family's trust in their investigation. Others have raised questions with the Home Secretary. The coroner has set the inquest date for September 2012. Kurt Barling, BBC London News.